now we can uh, relish the thought of this four and a half lap A final because what a lineup! Martin Schenker, the four times European champion from Norway, and it says escort there, but it's a very, very special escort. It has an 1800cc turbocharged Zach Speed engine, which develops 560 horsepower, which will propel it from rest to 160 miles an hour in half a mile, and which will propel it from naught to 100 miles an hour in five seconds. There is Ole Arneson, a very forceful driver, who was won the British Grand Prix in 1983, Rally Cross that is, he's in the Audi Quattro, turbo, four-wheel drive. John Welch, who is in a car virtually identical to that of Martin Schenker, and John Welch, number four, is the British champion of 1984. He's got the lap record at every British circuit except Brands Hatch. There's Martin Schenker who has what I would describe as a mercurial personality. Like he can fly off the handle at the top of a hat. Just getting himself psyched up ready. Getting the glove palms nice and dry and plenty of grip on the steering wheel. He can, he can adjust the amount of drive that goes through to the front and rear wheels at will as he's driving along and the way that car gets away from the line is virtually unbelievable it's as though he had a rocket attached to the back there in the much bigger and bulkier and a greater tendency to understeer Audi Quattro is Ole Arneson just, just quietly thinking about it all one in Austria, he's one in Sweden, second in Finland, second in Norway, third in France, sixth in Belgium, second in the championship, Ole Arneson. Behind Ole Arneson, there is John Welch, British champion, 1984. His car, sensationally fast. Now, John is has in the past not been so good, and these are his own words, at getting away from the line. He tends to drag away from the line, uh, and it was because he'd had one or two engine problems, which he hopes he has overcome. There, alongside John Welch, is the man who's actually leading the championship, Matti Alamaki, from Finland, from Pori in Finland. 760 horsepower, four-wheel drive, 106 points in comparison with Ole Arneson's 100 points. 152 is the man we have just seen winning the B final crossbar motto, and in the background, Number 141 is the 630 four-wheel horsepower, four-wheel drive, 3.3-litre Porsche of Seppo Nittimaki, who won here last year. Get ready for the lights. Four and a half laps. Shanker, Escort, Arneson, Quattro, Alamaki, Porsche, Welch, Escort, Morto, Audi Quattro, Nittimaki, Porsche. A lot of horsepower. Leads. Schenker takes him as they go into the right-hander at Chesson's Drift. Schenker takes him. Arneson is in second place. Alamarki is third. Welch is fourth. Nittimarki is fifth. And Montauk is sixth. And as they go... And Welch has got smoke pouring out of the back of his escort. It may just be something on the pipe work. Welch has blown it. John Welch has blown it. He doesn't seem to realise it. <laughs> so as they go down the hill, well, John Welch is nothing to turn. And he's pressing Alamaki in third position as they come to at the end of the first lap with Martin Schenker out on his own, but only about four car lengths ahead of only Arneson's Quattro. Then Nitty Market. There is the smokescreen laying escort Zach Speed powered car of John Welch is going to make it difficult for everybody behind him, that's for sure. But he's holding up magnificently. John, John Welch has had to take an engine back to Niedersissen, where the Zach Speed organisation is, and it looks as though he's going to have to take this one back at the end of the race, because it's going to be somewhat part worn. Good old John, he's, he, he's not worrying one little bit, but... There's a couple of chaps with problems behind him because Nitty Markey can't see through the smoke. And more 
Vauxhall can't see past Nitty Barkey. So it's a four-man race, and what a race on the third lap, and we think that John Welch is going to be black flagged. Not surprised, not surprisingly. But look at this battle for the lead with John Welch. He would have been uh, marvellous to have in a convoy in the war, I think. There's now smoke all over the course. You can't see, we can't see, but Martin Shanker can. And Ole Arneson can, and Matty Alamaki can. First, second and third on the lap three. And it's still anybody's race. Still anybody's race. And the red flags are going out. Oh, this is a disappointment and a great surprise. The red flags are out. And that, of course, means stop racing and proceed off the circuit with caution. And... Uh, I think it will probably be red flag for them and perhaps a black mark for John Welch, although you can hardly blame him for trying. Well, there he is. There's John Welch sitting on the boot lid of uh, Hermie De Wick's car in the background. And we've, we've laughed a bit, but it, it's rotten luck for John Welch. He's trying enormously hard. He seems to be fated at this meeting. But if ever there was a trier, there he is the 1984 British champion, and until today, he was the fastest ever at Lyndon. He'd gone round, he doesn't seem to be worried too much worried about it, John's the one in the dark glasses, with the, uh, the, hint, the hint of a smile on his face, shall we say. But, but meantime, Shanker and Arneson and Alamaki are proceeding with great vigour. They, they haven't seen, ah, oh, now the black flag is out. The black flag, means leave the circuit immediately, you reach the next exit point. Francois Montand with the door opening trick. Well, we've had the red flag and now we have, we now have the black flag. And that means, and, and John Welch smokes his way backwards into the paddock. I'm afraid that's rather an expensive blow for John Welch. And a great pity, because there was, with Martin Schenker, a potential winner. And now a restart. Back to the paddock, John. Load up. Go home and consider what is to be done in Aldershot, which is where John comes from. Got his own car preference. That car cost £60,000, by the way. £60,000. The four-ringed Audi logo of Ole Arneson's car, and this is a bonus. We're going to get a second start, but regrettably without John Welch. Apparently, it's a turbo oil seal that's broken, and it'll take too long to fix it. So, it's a five-man final. Martin Schenko, by far the fastest yet. Ole Arneson, previous champion. Matty Alamaki, leading the championship. Sefo Nittimaki, who won last year, and Francois Montand from Belgium. Two Quattros, two Porsches, one Escort. But what a different Escort. 560 horsepower. Arneson got away quickest last time, but Schenker's done it this time. A lightning start from Martin Schenker, and Alamaki gets right up alongside Ole Arneson, and he's going to try and drive round the outside as they go into Chesson's Drift, through the dust, and Schenker sprints away as his four tyres bite the tarmac at the Dover slope, go into the left-hander at the Devil's Elbow, and that's a third gear corner. Up into fourth, up into fifth, 100 miles an hour, uphill, into the third gear, right-hander, North Bend, Arneson second, Alamaki third, Nittimaki in fourth position, Mortor dropping back in the green top, Quattro in fifth place, end of lap one, into the chicane, Shanker leads. Arneson second, Nittimaki, Alamaki in third position, Nittimaki in fourth, Alamaki nearly loses it, that gives Arneson the chance to break away, but not to close up on Martin Schenker, who is on his second lap in this four and a half lap race, 
and the gap now with Martin Schenker who has had engine trouble in both the previous years here and failed to finish is one and a half seconds ahead of Erling Arneson, there he is it's 120 miles an hour down here and they're just going onto the loose flames coming out from the turbo on the overrun as the unburned fuel in the engine burns in the exhaust pipe British first. Martin Shanker helped develop it. The Zack Speed engine. And they're on their third lap now. One and a half laps to go at the end of this one. And Martin Shanker with early Arneson closing. Arneson in the Quattro. Number 111. Second in the championship. Alamarki there is leading the championship. And he is six points ahead of Arneson. There are 20 points for a win, 17 for second, 15 for third. It's going to be very close for the championship at the end of this race if they stay where they are now. There's not long to go in this race. They're on the fourth lap now, this four and a half lap race, and up Harry Hill for the last time. Shanka leads, Arneson second. Ford Escort Zack Speed Powered, four-wheel drive, Martin Shanker's car leads, Ole Arneson's Audi Quattro second, then the Porsche, three different makes of car, Matty Alamarki, the European Championship leader, his car smoking a bit as he comes down the reverse side of Harry Hill, Shanker sprints through the chicane, flings the Escort into Chessons for the last time, this is Arneson's last chance to get Shanker, I don't think he's got a hope of doing it, because the chequered flag is in sight and the Sphere Drake European Rallycross Championship round here at Lytton today has been won and deservedly so by Martin Schenker who won the first round with the fastest time ever at Lytton who won the second round with an even faster time has won the final and is now getting ready to do his party trick the door opens, the helmet is off, the balaclava is off Look at me, Mum. No hands and practically no feet either. Martin Schenker pedalling the escort round with his left foot. He's made himself world famous for this. Tremendously popular. Ever cheerful. Can, 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 can get a bit angry with life at times. But his heart is very much in the right place and, and a magnificent engineer. And watch out Group C sports car racing next year because Martin Schenker is not only going to be driving Rallycross but in the Group C World Championship as well. So, today's result here at Lytton, the Sphere Drake Insurance International Rallycross round of the European Rallycross Championship of 1985. A win for Martin Schenker with Ole Arneson in second place with Matty Alamarki in third position. And if my mental arithmetic is right, that means to say that Arneson is now only three points behind Alamarki in the European Championship of 1985. And if you thought that Schenker was clever before, don't ask me how he's doing this, because I don't know. He's got to stop the car. He's actually coming up to the flags, flags of the nations now. This is quite, incre quite incredible. Martin Schenker, great driver, great showman.